you know, it sounds like my voice, it sounds like us, I don't know, I like it. It was a really good song to pick because we hadn't done anything with it. Like I, that's an old song that I played the acoustic guitar to and I think we jammed it out like once or twice before we came here just to jam it out yeah. so that everyone knew the parts. But, um, I mean it's changed a lot, but, but for the better it wasn't anything before. It changed a lot through the the producing piece, right? With Rob, for sure. I mean, you brought a lot to the song. It would, ch it would have changed since we, when we first started sort of jamming it. But now I can't even really look back and remember what that sounded like. I just remember the new version, so I guess that's a good thing. I think the pros of that was that we were able to do it in a weekend. <laughs> so um, we had, do we have two days or one day? Two days. Um, so it was to have one person in charge and really driving it, uh, I think that the pros to that was just to get it done and not to dwell on uh, little things. So I feel well, we haven't been together that long, so I feel we're just kind of s still finding, finding our sound. And so it's kind of good to work with other, like different producers and, and go down different roads and, and try, try different things. Rob's input was great. Um, but we just decided to go in and whatever Rob said is what we were going to do. Um, you know, we weren't going to put too much of a fuss and we're going to just trust his overall vision for it mm -hmm. and see where he could take it. You know, we all feel he did a really good job with that. Again, I love all the little production uh, things that Rob did. Um, just like switching up the kick drum uh, between like the beginning of the song and the rest. And all those little things kind of shine through. So. But my overall feeling was it was pretty good. Um, sounds like a radio song. <laughs> I would do it again today. Would you? I would. We could. It's very good.